dear students i welcome you once again on the simple digital school and today we have to cover up lecture number 32 of management information systems or information systems management see we have already covered what is a group decision support system in the lecture 30 and what are the features and the various software tools responsible for conducting a very successful meetings in the gdss in the lecture number 31 so in the i button as well as in the description aapko mil jayega un dono videos ka link as well as you can check out in the description box what else we have on our channel and in case you are new to the channel do not forget to comment after watching this video so that we can improve as per your feedback so today we have to cover up firstly the advantages or the benefits of gdss that is your group decision support system Firstly, we have a more information in the less time through the GDSS system, which is a meeting system where we have a proper group discussing about a particular problem of an organization. बहुत सारी इन्फॉर्मेशन को GDSS मीटिंग्स के थ्रू हम एक जगह पर कलेक्ट कर सकते हैं एंड टीम कैन वर्क इन पैरल सेविंग द टाइम एंड गेटिंग द मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन इन अ लेस टाइम Second most important advantage is diversity of the views. What is this diversity of the view? Because a group may you have a more than one member. बहुत सारे members collectively काम करते हैं जब हम GDSS में काम करते हैं. Because GDSS is meant for the groups only who are working on a common goal or a common task within the organization. to take some of the very important crucial decisions of the management for a particular problem the varied views can be generated we also say the various approaches to solve a particular problem is shared ek problem ko solve karne ke liye multiple tarike multiple solutions multiple approaches multiple views yahan par hum share kar sakte hain ki jo group decisions hai wo har aspect ko har area ko cover karega to give the best decision and to give the better insights for the decision making third benefit is it is a more structured way of working because in the gdss environment the discussions are much more concentrated and focused irrelevant degradations are greatly reduced we are not focusing on anything which is irrelevant in these meetings and we are more focused and concentrated totally on the discussion on a particular topic and the problem for which we are looking for a solution fourth advantage automated documentation it is a very very important benefit of gdss comments can be preserved forever and the system provides the result without any delay instant result is provided graphics ke through excellently views can be presented which are more attractive full recordings bhi aapko milengi moreover jitne bhi documents share hue throughout the meeting they are also available and remains available with the facilitator at any point of time in the future even when the project is over then the last most important benefit or the advantage is degree of involvement now in the gdss meetings jitne bhi members hote hain they have a full involvement why because all the members of the group feel involved for a particular given problem एक पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम के ऊपर इफ टेन पीपल आर सेटिंग दे ऑल आर फोकस्ड ऑन वन प्रॉब्लम ओनली that he or she is not given a importance so it minimizes their resistance and it strengthens an organization and facilitates the decision making definitely team work better hota hai approach positive rehti hai organization ke liye it strengthens the bond within the people or employees of the organization facilitating the better decision making upon which each and every member of that particular group is agreeing upon so these are the various advantages zyada information ek point of time par collect hota hai views multiple hamare paas aa jate hain that is multiple solutions available ho jate hain zyada structured kaam hota hai sara documentation available ho jata hai each and every member 
of the GDSS meeting has a hundred percent involvement. When we say the GDSS, as we have seen that we have a components, hardware, software, people, processes within the GDSS systems. So what can be the disadvantages of the same? First is cost. A significant amount of cost may be associated when putting up the infrastructure consisting of the room, network connectivity and the software. Definitely, you have to set up a whole room, you have to set up a network connectivity, you have to be very good. Softwares that you are using, that should be available to each and every employee and member of that particular meeting. So, there will be cost involved. See what happens. There is a one facilitator. जब हम GDSS का setup बैठाते हैं और किसी particular person को हम वो responsibility देते हैं, so it might be possible that the information can be leaked by the lower level employees to the other people outside. So this is a one risk involved and a one disadvantage also. Third point is the technical failure. The system must be properly implemented to reduce the risk associated with the loss of connectivity and the power loss. It is highly dependent on the LAN-WAN infrastructure and the bandwidth. Most important dependency is on the LAN-WAN infrastructure. Our Wi-Fi is if or LAN or WAN is through our internet provide ho hai, uska bandwidth is hai and there should be no loss of connectivity. Power loss to bilkul nahi hona chahi in between the meeting otherwise everything will be lost your recording of the meeting can be lost share documents can be lost and totally people can get disconnected in between the meeting in case there is a technical failure happening anywhere fourth is the keyboarding skills now see what happens when you have a multiple members involved in a particular meeting. In a meeting, if there are 20 people involved, hai, so it is not possible that all the people are very good to use the software in which the GDSS meeting is conducted in the GDSS meeting. Or they are not that good at using the systems even or the computers even with the shortcut keys even. So, in case they have a half knowledge or they have a limited knowledge, they can get frustrated also. Such kind of people with the less keyboarding skills might participate less. Fifth is the training, which is very important. We have a one line written here. There is a variation in the learning curve of the user in the various situations. A particular organization may alagalak tareke employees hungi. उन सब लोगों का लर्निंग पैटर्न अलग-अलग होगा उन सब का जो ग्रास्पिंग पावर है टुवर्ड्स अ न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी न्यू सॉफ्टवेयर्स इट कैन बी डिफरेंट सो दैट इज व्हाई वी आर सेइंग वेरिएशन इन द लर्निंग कर्व जो सीखने की क्षमता है उसका कर्व सबका अलग-अलग होगा सो वी कैन नॉट एक्सपेक्ट कि अगर 20 employees हैं, वो 20 के 20 उस system पे, जिस पे GDS इस meeting conduct की जाएगी, वो बहुत ही अच्छे से सीख पाए, right? So the proper training has to be given to all the employees about the GDS इस meetings, which can include the cost and time both. Sixth is the perception of messages, misinterpretations may occur in case the members communicate less verbally. It might happen that there are few of the employees who are not responding properly. Jo ki verbally apni baat ko dhang se kehna paate ho ya samjhana paate ho. Or sharing the broader views of whatever they want to say. So in such situations, jo misinterpretations ho sakti hai, wo possible hai. Usse kehte hai perception of messages. That different people are percepting a particular idea in the different way. So, we have seen cost, security, technical failure, keyboarding skills, training, perception of messages. These can be the disadvantages of any GDSS meetings or GDSS systems. Our next topic will be differences between the DSS and GDSS. Thank you. Wish you a very, very good life.